Hi guys. I'm gonna make over this mahogany dresser that I have. It's a beautiful dresser, but somebody did a paint job on it that has some type of a stain over the top. It's peeling and it, yeah, it's just in pretty rough shape. Been kind of beat up. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off all the hardware. I'm going to save this hardware and use it again because it's really pretty. I think I have a plan for this dresser to be navy. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to keep the hardware original or paint it into something else. Black, maybe black. Now that I've got the hardware off, I'm going to get my shop back out and clean everything real good, even underneath, and then my crud cutter here to wipe it all down. These are quick little glances at my rag that I'm using, but wow, it was filthy. Oof. Off camera, uh, I actually cleaned it a whole second time. It was really dirty. And now I'm gonna sand the top bare. I'm using a 80 grit sanding net here. It just really cuts through the paint. Gets everything off real quick. I am being careful. It looks like this is actually a solid piece of wood. I'm not super worried about the veneer. I haven't seen anything. Just sanding the rest of the body of the dresser. I'm gonna show you a video or picture of the whole thing because it was a hot mess when I was done. I moved on to the drawers. I sanded all the drawer fronts um, I also did the tops of the drawers, the sides, cleaned up the dovetails. There was some paint on there and some leftover stain from the original finish. So I like to clean those up. I know some people don't like sanding, but I think this is actually kind of therapeutic. I like taking it just from being this dirty, scratched up thing and making everything all smooth and clean and ready to go because I know that paint is next. And more sanding. Now I'm doing the details around the trim pieces. They have little ridges to them so I'm taking a sanding net folded in half and it, it just to get in between each little space there. I'm mixing up some Bondo just to take care of the few little places. There, surprisingly, there weren't very many, but just filling the few things that didn't get sanded out. And here she is. Believe it or not, this is ready for primer. This is my favorite part when I finally get to start putting some paint on. I'm using Zinser Smart Prime. I have it tinted in a dark gray, and I'm spraying it with my Wagner Flexio 5000. I did two coats of primer. I sanded in between each one, and now I'm doing a, another sand and wipe everything off before I get ready to paint. I decided to use a Vagabond Blue by Melange. It's a really dark navy. I love how it goes on there. I did three light coats of paint and sanded it between each one. And now that I have everything painted, I'm going to take the cover off the top and stain the top. I did get a little overspray on there, so I'm gonna take it off with the sanding anyway. Time for one final sanding of the top. I did the 80 grit sanding net and then a 120. Uh, now this is a 220, just get everything nice and smooth before I get ready to stain it. I'm using a salmon wood stain uh, in dark walnut. This is a water-based stain. It's my absolute favorite. I just love how it goes on. It has a deep, rich color, lots of pigment to it, and real easy to apply.
This is my scrub daddy sponge. I love these sponges for doing stain. They're just super dense and they seem to spread the stain very evenly. Before I apply the stain, I'm gonna mist the top. Just get it a little wet since I'm applying a water-based stain. Water is just fine. So I put the stain in a paper plate and I dip my sponge into the paper plate um, just to get a nice even coat on there and I just start spreading it on the top. And we'll do this in fast forward because it actually takes me um, five or ten minutes to get this done. But with the sponge and this stain, it just goes on so nice and even. I love it. And here's the top, all nice and stained. I love this color. Nice and deep, rich color, lots of pigment. I let that dry overnight and now I'm painting the little details around the drawers, stuff that didn't get painted when I sprayed. So I do the top of each drawer, the sides. I don't paint the dovetails and make sure to leave them alone. Always got to do these little parts too. And then once I put the drawers back in, I go through the same process. So each one gets two coats. Now it's time for top coat. I'm using the uh, General Finishes High Performance Flat. It's my new favorite top coat. I actually did four coats here and sanded in between each one. I didn't show all of them. Here's just a couple. I'm cleaning up the hardware. This is hardware soup with vinegar and water. And I decided to paint it black. I primed it, painted it, and then sealed it. So it should last a long time. I think she turned out beautiful. I love that stain on the top. That's my favorite. Thanks for watching me make over this dresser. Follow if you'd like to watch me do more.